Say morning, dogs. <laughs> oh, look, steam, uh, the mist coming off me. Yep, yeah, don't know if you can see anything. We're on a morning walk in the Peak District. It's half past seven. We got here at quarter to seven. Had something to eat. I breathe it. It's starting to get light. It's not due to get light to about 8.23. We're walking up, um, is it Hallam Clough? That, that area. Uh, over to, uh, just before Swine's back, we, we joined Jacob's Ladder. Uh, we're walking into Edel. We're going to meet someone there. So it's a good excuse to get out. <laughs> Only been back from Scotland two days. Whew. It's cold. Oh, getting there. Hugs are loose. I've lost Revel. Don't know where he's gone. A sheep all penned in, so that's okay. Normally, they're in this field normally. I'm oh, getting a drink. Good. Not too far. I'm oh, getting in the reeds. Could be boggy. I'm warm. <laughs> What's going on? I'm just not too far, you two. Stella, they're so happy being out. You think she'll be tired from the Scotland trip? No, <laughs> and sleep well again. Not too far, Stella. I don't know what's around the corner, you say. And it sounds slushy there. Are you burnt out yet? We know the answer to that one, don't we? Big fat no. Sure, there's no sheep in the other one. I'll see a bit further up. Lovely. Rebel, Stella! Look how far they go. Turn you about two seconds. This way! Not too far. Heading up alongside Oaken Clough. I called it Hallam earlier. Oaken. <laughs> and uh, to Edel Cross. We're not going up Swine's Batters yet. We're cover, uh, going down to Joe Sladder and then Barber Booth and into Edel to meet some friends. What, what late we do late, I don't know. I've got about eight minutes to get to the top, which I'm not going to do. I'm warm enough as it is. It's chilly out, but I always get warm walking. But I'm sure we'll get some good views when we get to the top. It's going to be a lovely day. Oh, beautiful morning. Oh, we're going to miss the sunset, uh, sunrise. <laughs> Might miss the sunset as well. I have to keep adjusting this because when I'm going uphill, it's pointing at the ground. Stella, who's? I don't know if it's sheep. I think I saw one a minute ago. Let's see what we get up here. 
and we get a nice colours just yeah the sheep over there it's starting to get a bit of a little breeze I wore this warm Arcteri tarp because they said there were going to be gusts of 25 to 27 with a normal wind about 10 15 so I thought if I wear my shirt like I normally do and a jacket I still feel chilly so I thought I'd wear this and have the jacket put over when I get a top a low be out there was no breeze nothing <laughs> so I was warm and now we're getting a little bit of a breeze which will cool me down you know crosses just up here Ah, still ain't seen anyone, not even on the tops. Sometimes get backpack uh, backpackers, wild campers, especially now because it's been dry lately. Last two days been dry. So you'd expect to get a few people out. Conditions ain't too bad either today. This is the wettest bit I found. Rebel fuse. Just guess this sheep here. Cobbly. <laughs> Hard to get a grip for your boots. Across here. Oh, we're going to get some nice sun there. And there she is. Oh, yeah. Look at the sun coming on there. The colours. Whoops. Yep. Oh, we might just get sunrise. What time is it? Well, over there it's risen, but not here. Rebel. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. That's better. Look at that. Swine's back. No stool. Uh, Edel rocks. Pim's chair. Crowd and tower. You know the, the school, uh, the wool packs and all that, and then crowd and cloth right over the end. <laughs> Done all that many a time. Wild camp, some lovely spots up there. All right, it's a bit wet. Here. Oh, no latch on this one, and a broken gate. It's right. Oh, it's got a weight on it. Rebel, steady this way. Oh, let's get some views while we're here. Eight views. Oh, beautiful. Oh, isn't that nice? Nice pitch here. <laughs> a good wild camera never switches off. And it was a good pitch there. It was a good view. Hey, this way. We're not going up swine's back. But up a sight. See all the normal landmarks, no stall, you know rocks, swine's back. Rebel, stand out this way. They think they're going on a wild camp. No, we're not doing that. We're going down Jacob's Ladder. I haven't seen a soul about. Yeah. Who's? Stella. Stella. Who's? Very excited. 
The kid. Whoops, a bit bumpy. Foos, start doing it. Ah, 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 ah. Foos, I said. Thank you, calm down. Too excited. to Jacob's Ladder now. It's like confession, I've never been up or down Jacob's Ladder all the time. I've been at either, uh, been at Peak District side. The reason, it's normally just too busy. Yeah, just down around there. I normally like Hayfield or Hope coming in. It's much quieter. Today it's dead, it's lovely. I forgot to tell you it's Monday the 30th of December, by the way. What will you say? You can never get sick of them. Oh, do you, Stella? It's supposed to be nine. You're nine, then the third of January. You're acting like a two-year-old. Look at that. This way, Stella. This way. You're you're the one that's leading him today. Look at these two. Never learn, do they? Nice breeze here, cooling me down. Sun bouncing off the sides is lovely, isn't it? The sound of the water. You too. Views. Every time I put, put a camera on, start talking, they run off thinking they can get away with it. I'm catching on to them now. And we're going to be in direct sunlight around here. Which would be nice. Problem is, taking photos takes so much of your time. <laughs> Alright, I'll have a look around there in a minute. See my first person of the day? Chatting to him, lovely gentleman, first time in the Peak District for him. So, coming down that Jacob's lad, it's fun. Whew. <laughs> A couple of times in last summer and the summer before, especially the hot one and the summer before, I thought, oh, I just nipped down for water, thank God I didn't. <laughs> Uh, uh, sun is right over now. Beautiful. Blinding, no? <laughs> Should be easy going now. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. What a lovely morning. Heading towards Barber Booth and then to Edel. Meet my friend. It's been a great walk. Absolutely brilliant. Seeing about four or five walkers. Nothing crazy. You think there'd be more out because with the kids off and I think some people still got extended holidays, some. I expect because they've been forecasting a brilliant day for a good few to four days. So I'd expect to see this place split today, but not so much. And the conditions don't look too bad, I must admit. A bit of water lower down, but up the top looks quite dry. I'm sure the peaks would be a bit soggy. I mean, look at the views. That's where we come down from up top. Got dogs on lead because there's cars and there's some people with dogs now. And there's no need for them to be running loose now. All right, catch you later. 
don't know what's planned. <laughs> I bet it's cold. But this is refreshing in the summer. Just sitting there and dunking your feet in. Had a lovely morning, 22. Lie down, plats. Every time I talk, you get up, plats. Rest. We've had a good 10.8 miles so far. Well, nearly 11, I reckon now. Getting dinner on, or lunch, should I say. Been a beautiful day. Just left my friends. And now have a lunch and then have a short rest. And then back down to Hayfield and back home. Great day, the dogs are tired. I'm still recovering from Scotland, let alone today.